What is going on guys? So in this tutorial, all I'm going to show you is how to turn your photos from this to this using Photoshop's entrance into the AI space. Let's get it. Okay, so we have our photo here. It's a really good photo. It's not bad. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is a children's portrait. And the only thing I want to do is add some elements that will more entice other people to book me for children's portraits or to just make the client happy so the first thing i would like to do is expand the background so open this up a little bit hit enter and boom it already gives us some options that we can select from i think these are all good and the only thing that i want to add into this photo is just some children's elements, maybe a children's book or two, a little teddy bear, maybe some butterflies. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pretty much go over here to our lasso tool, and all we're gonna do is select the areas and type in what we wanna add. You wanna be pretty specific on what you wanna add. So let's just say I wanted to add in some leaves right here. Instead of just saying the word leaves, because it might just add one leaf, I want to say leaves on the ground. So let's go ahead and add that leaves on the ground. Just hit enter. Let's see what it comes up with. I don't really like that option, but the good thing is they give us three options. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. I'm probably going to go with this. The only thing that's going to be different is the leaves up top is not matching the leaves on the ground, but it's okay. I like that. Another thing I would like to add is a really small teddy bear. So. Let's select this area right here. And let's add a small teddy. Hit generate, let's see what we get. Keep in mind guys, all I'm doing is just telling Photoshop beta what to add into the portrait. Leaves, a teddy bear, books, uh, a bow tie, you know, anything like that that you can, your mind can actually think of, you can add it in as long as you have a little bit of basic knowledge with Photoshop. Ooh, that's really good. That one right there is really good. I want to add something else to the bottom side of the frame just to give it a little bit more build to this photo. A little more depth. Okay, so let's add in, hmm, let's say children's book. Children's book. I like that one because it's like the baby has, you know, messed with the book. She opened the book or, you know, probably kicked it over. And that is it, guys. A simple tutorial showing you guys how to take your portraits to the next level simply just using Photoshop's generative fill AI. It's pretty good. It's a super nice software. It's still in development. There's still many updates being updated in the software, but give it a shot. If you have not downloaded it and tried it out for yourself, by all means, what are you waiting on? All right, guys. Peace, man. Until next time.